This is the presentation for abstract landscape painting. So first we have a bunch of examples by Ted Harrison. I want to talk about visual planes of space. So we've got three main planes, foreground, middle ground, and background. The foreground is the layer that is closest to you, that's going to be at the very bottom of the page. The middle ground is going to be not quite super close to you, but not super far away, just right in the middle, hence the name middle ground. And then background are the things that are really far away from you. Here's a, like a photograph example of foreground, middle ground, and background. You can kind of think of them as here, near, and far. In real life, the things that are really close to you are going to be darker and more saturated, rich in color. Things in the middle ground are going to be kind of in the middle. It's going to be medium, not um, super faded, but not super strong in color. And then all the way in the background, it's going to get really, really light um, just because of little particles in the atmosphere that make that happen. So things as they get farther away are lighter and blurrier. So Ted Harrison uses layered values in his landscape. And he is a painter in Canada, so he paints a lot of the Yukon Territory in Canada. So those pictures on the left are from the Yukon Territory. And then on the right is his painting of one of the areas he visited. So we're not going to do the dark close to us, uh, medium in the middle, and then light in the background. We're going to make it a little more abstract. We're going to have these layers of different values. So this is Ted Harrison right here in front of one of his paintings. And as I've uh, just mentioned, he works a lot with those layers of values. Um, so he works with a range. And I'll talk about values right here. So value, just like we did with the portraits, refers to the lightness or darkness of a hue or color. When we did with the portraits, we were just doing pencil, so we just did grayscale. So it's like the lightness or darkness of gray, really. And now, since we're going to be painting these, we're going to be use, using the word value in terms of color and paint. So a tint is when you add white to a pure hue, or if we're using watercolor, which is what we're going to do for this project, it's when you add extra water. Adding extra water to your color is going to make it a lot lighter. So a tint is when you make your color lighter. And then a shade is when you add black to your pure hue, and it's going to make your color darker, just like that second row of reds. So those are your shades on the bottom and your tints on the top. Here's a couple more examples of Ted Harrison's landscape paintings. A little more abstract, they're not super realistic, um, really focusing on just like the beautiful shapes of the landscape and the colors, really emphasizing um, those whimsical, fun, playful colors, a really um, kind of a childlike, fun quality to it. So here's the rubric for this landscape painting. We've got four categories. The first one is visual planes. You need a clear foreground, middle ground, and background. And that doesn't include the sky. And all three of those parts are going to come together to represent a landscape. The values, each section of your landscape, need three distinct values of one color. So say your foreground is orange. You're going to need a shade of orange, the original orange, and a tint of orange. You're going to keep them in order, either going light to dark or dark to light. And then each section of the landscape should have a, a different color. So all of the foreground, again, if I use that as an example, if, if it's all orange, um, you're going to keep that whole section orange. Then maybe the middle ground is green and the sky, or not the sky, but the background is purple. And then the last category you'll be graded on is craftsmanship. This means that no edges of color are bleeding together. There's no white gaps between the layers and there's no spaces that are left unpainted.